Hey there, everyone. I hope you are all doing good. Welcome to new Stasmat Tips and Tricks with the Tracker and his companion, the Medusa, here. So, what we're going to do is to take on where we left last week uh, with the Ron Robin stuff. So, as I showed, you can uh, do Ron Robins with drum machine samples to keep them more alive. But uh, the Tracker is not very really good for this. It's not the best device to do it, anyway. But one thing that's really nice is to use the same concept with analog synthesizer, recording basically the same note over and over a few times while tweaking the parameters of the synth or using external effects after the synth to capture different flavors of the same sound. And then we can sequence those by slicing them into the tracker. So first, here is our sound from the Medusa. I'm going to record a few takes of this same note with different settings. I'm going to crop this. Okay, done. Save. Photo name. Stupid letters. Perfect. So if you're uh, like me, if you're a dick and that you didn't realize that you should have done save and load, you should be able to find your recordings of their stupid letters. Okay, we want this one. Yes. So first, I'm going to normalize it. So, here we go for bit slice once again. As always, don't trust the auto slice. Right, just one trick to make it a little bit easier. As you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, different parts, so you can safely say that equal slice 9 will be a good idea, and then you just need to go from slices to slices. So this is really something I do a lot with the tracker. Recording one synth, different tweaked parameters over, and then rearrange it. Okay, so we have our 9 thing. I've prepared a little, little drum pattern here. Now let's go with our second instruments. So on each step, I'm choosing a different note, which is a different slice. From this, if I want to pitch it, I need to use the uh, tune FX, which is here. This kind of way of working is convenient for drums, but it's not the best for tuned synth samples. So instead of the beat slice mode, we're going to use the normal slice mode, which will then give us the same sound every time, except if we use the slice FX. Which was the old way of working with the tracker before it got the beat slice mode. So here, if we want to change the note, we just go to notes and we can play different melody. Take this 
further, if we want to add more uh, liveliness into it, we could use the random FX value to change which slice will be played on a random basis. So the more you go, the more random it will be. Okay, now let's switch this to poly. Let's make sure all the oscillators are up. Not sure how this sound would sound like this, but... Okay, so I'm going to record some chords with the phaser on. Same concept. It's quite nice to have those uh, with the phaser because you can move this and choose a different position for each. Wasteful month. That's perfect. Save and load. Okay. No, this time I was not stupid and I did it like this. Okay, let's go again with the normal slice mode. For four equal slice, confirm. Okay, instrument number three. Yeah, okay, change it. Instrument number three again. Random for the last one. That's it for today. Thank you. See you next time.